Hi, this is Craig Bloodworth at Information Lab. And having just watched the live stream of the Devs on Stage keynote in uh, Vegas at, at Tableau Conference 2019, um, I thought I'd go through some of the new features that uh, were announced, that were released. And the first one I'm going to start with is dynamic parameters. So let's have a look at what um, that means for Tableau and how it's been implemented. So to start with, I have a workbook here that's connected to a really simple uh, database table. It's got one dimension called category and one measure called sales. Now I'm going to create a parameter. I'm going to call that parameter category. It's going to have strings in it. It's going to be a list of all the categories and the values of categories are going to be pre-populated from that dimension. So right now we have a hundred categories and this is exactly how Tableau Desktop operates today with um, a static list of, of values for that parameter. Dynamic parameters, however, allow us to tell Tableau to refresh this, uh, this dimensional value list from the database. So I can tell Tableau to uh, update the category list when I open the workbook. I'll click OK. And if I show the parameter control, we'll see, as expected, I have 100 category values. So let's go update the database and add in another 10 categories. All right. Now, my list here in my workbook that's still open has 100 categories in it. However, let's just save that workbook and open it in a new session of Tableau Desktop. And we'll find now this same category dropdown has 110 values in it. That's fantastic. We just updated our, our parameter uh, list straight from the database with having, without having to download, um, repopulate the, the list and then republish every time a dimensional value is added or removed or changed. So, you know, no surprise why this got one of the biggest shout outs at the conference. Um, it's a feature that's been requested for a very long time and is number one on the ideas form at tableau.com. Now, when stuff like this comes in, uh, I'm always asked the question, you know, how is it going to impact my workbooks? What is it going to cause lots more queries to the database? Am I going to have what am I have to think about when I'm authoring? And so I thought I'd try and get ahead and answer some of those questions now, um, just so people have in mind about what they, they need to think about when they're using dynamic parameters. I should say at the moment, this is how it's dynamic parameters have been implemented in the copy of Tableau Desktop that I have. Um, it is uh, an early implementation of dynamic parameters and it may not exactly match the full release. Uh, dynamic parameters may not even be released. <laughs> so it's, it's all part of Tableau giving us an idea of what's coming, um, uh, although they do always have that caveat that um, there's the sort of a no time frame for the release and of course it, how it's implemented now might not be how it's done in the future. But as dynamic parameters are right now, when I open a workbook with uh, just a standard static parameter in it, Tableau uh, executes one query against my database, in this case uh, a Postgres database, to get uh, the sum of sales. When I open the workbook with a dynamic parameter in play, so with a dynamic parameter in play, I mean I have not only created a dynamic parameter, I've also put down the drop down control as I have up here. Tableau executes two queries. Not too surprising, really. It goes off and gets the sum of sales still, but then it also gets the list of categories in order to populate the parameter. Now, Whenever we have a feature change that starts adding um, weight to the database by doing more queries, uh, getting more information from the database, we always have to sort of bear in mind how we're going to author the, 
the workbook. And it was two questions I had. First of all, um, what happens in the workbook when the dynamic parameter isn't in play? So it's being created. Um, it's not in a calculation though, and it's not, we don't have the drop down in any of the sheets. And secondly, what happens if I have lots of dynamic parameters, but all based off of the same dimension? So all should have the same dimensional values. Well, I um, downloaded my Postgres query logs. We ran the experiment a few times with different scenarios. And what I found was if I was to say hide the card for the dynamic parameter and not have uh, any reference to it in a calculated field or anywhere else in the connection, Tableau would still execute two queries. So it's still going off getting sum of sales and the list of dimensions to populate the parameter. I guess that kind of makes sense because although I'm not using the, the parameter when I open the workbook, I might use it in the future. So I might, you know, partly um, create my workbook and then go off and change some things later and make use of these dynamic parameters. So they should be up to date. That's what I've told Tableau to do. However, it does bear in mind, you need to bear in mind something when authoring. You know, there might be a, a, a you, you might feel like it's, you know, why not just create 10 dynamic parameters from your 10 dimensions because you might want to use one later. Well, let's say you go and publish your workbook and out of those 10 dynamic parameters, you're only using two of them. You're using maybe one in a calculation and you've got one drop down to, to control a filter. Well, Tableau is gonna go off and query 10 times, even though you're only making use of two parameters. So you basically got eight redundant queries that are putting a weight on the database and also potentially delaying the time it takes for Tableau to open your workbook, especially in server. Um, I then wondered, well, if it's going off and creating uh, lots of queries for every dynamic parameter, what happens if there are duplicates? So basically I went in and I just went, you know, right click. Oh, if I can get my right click to work, let's try it down here. There we go, right click, duplicate. And I just kept duplicating this category parameter over and over and over again, reopen the workbook. What I was pleased to find is that only two queries were executed. So even though there was, I think, 10 dynamic parameters, all based off of that query dimension, Tableau was clever enough to only query the database once and then replicate the results through all of the duplicate parameters. All right, so sort of a, a positive and a, a, maybe a, a negative um, in terms of those queries to the database and how you have to think about um, using dynamic parameters, duplicating, using dynamic parameters from the same dimensional value, great, no extra overhead, have at it. Creating dynamic parameters that you then don't use in your workbook, not great for, for putting a workbook into production because essentially slowing down your workbook and putting extra weight in the database for no apparent reason whatsoever. Okay, um, hopefully you enjoyed that and um, catch on the, the next video